My first football shirt I received, I think I was about maybe eight. Um, if you got a football shirt, it was probably like a birthday or like a Christmas. It wasn't, I didn't get them willy nilly. So when I did get them, I did, um, I made sure I looked after it and I always wanted to wear it. So I don't actually remember where I got it from or how I got it, but I did have, um, it was an England top. Uh, it was the 19... <sighs> 98 maybe um it's like white and it had like blue red either side but because it was white i had to be extra careful with it and i think i had mat matching pants or so navy blue pants and i had an england badge on and i used to always i remember wearing it i think for jubilee day <laughs> um so i always you know wanted to to wear it and that's the first one i remember um and then, do you remember the reversible England top? So it was a blue one and a red one. I remember having that. Um, and this is so funny, but I think I used to wear it red one day and then the next day I'd want to wear it again. So I would just reverse it and wear it the next day. Um, I remember a lot of us had that shirt and we used to always do it and it wasn't frowned upon or <laughs> anything like that after you'd been running around all day in it. So after that, that's a two, like I like, remember most is England tops. Uh, my favourite shirt, what I wore is, again, it was an England one. I've actually still got it here. <laughs> um, it was an England shirt and it was, it was for a birthday. Um, and I remember I got the England top and it was plain, but I wanted um, Rachel Yankee's name on. So I remember I had to go to JJB and um, they didn't do it at the time and then I had to go like to a couple of shops and it was it was quite like hard to get it because I think if you didn't buy the top from the shop you couldn't get it printed at the time but um my nan it was me and my nan we were going around all the shops and I eventually got an England top with Rachel Yankee's name on it and then obviously I think that's how I obviously got into the England women and watching them when there was more I guess more and more games being shown um I was like that I want to be like a that's it that's how I want to play. And she was left wing. I was left wing at the time. Um, and I loved number 11. So it made sense to to get it. I've, I've still got the shirt here. It's still here. I've never oh. thrown it. Um, I think I like it to, I think just feel comfortable. Um, when I'm playing, you don't, obviously, it's, it's funny because back in the day, you'd have the biggest shorts, the biggest top, um, the longest socks. So, I think when I have been given obviously the opportunity for for kit to fit, um, I like it to fit. Um, so I like it just not too fussed what it looks like as long as it fits all right and my shorts are staying around my waist. <laughs> I think it was more it was a more of a bigger picture the fact that they'd been made for women. I think it was it was a positive step and a like a good step in the right direction again for just women's sports. So. It, I think the kit was nice and it fit nice, but I, again, it was more the positive outlook of actually, you know, again, another step, another stepping stone of women's sport propelling forward and actually um, people caring about it um, and caring what women look like and, you know, how, how, we, um, how we look and how we, I guess, um, hold ourselves because it, it's something so small, but we wear it a lot. and you know, you, you want it to make a difference if it can. Um, so I think it was good that the, you know, the kit was made strictly for women, um, more just because it was, it was again, an, another positive step. And people probably think it's something so small, but if you do look back in the day, you did wear men's kit and it did drown you out. And, it, it, you know, it's not attractive. <laughs> um, so I think... Yeah, definitely. I think a really good step. Remember the memories of how I felt and um, specific, I guess, specific times of when I wore it as well. Um, I remember just loving it. Um, but it was like, it was like a polo. <laughs> Not very nice now, but yeah, it was, I remember it just being like a polo and at the time it was, it was really cool and remember I'm wearing it. I think it was Jubilee Day and that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely. I think as well to to own an England shirt then and I guess to play for England as well. 
is is like such a good feeling because it's it's something you dream of and something that you've always wanted to do so to go from having to buy your own shirt to i guess owning your own england shirt is um it, it is quite cool when you when you sit and think about it um in that aspect and same with the Rachel Yankee shirt that I got. I think, you know, to see that and say you want to be be like that or play for England just because of someone's inspired you and, and to get there, um, it, it is a cool moment when you sit and, I guess, reflect on it because them little things you, you don't think about and you can, you can take them for granted. Mm. 